Good morning. Welcome to Morning Special. 여러분 안녕하세요. 12월 30일 월요일 최수진의 Morning Special입니다. We're almost there. In less than 40 hours, we're welcoming in a brand new year, not to mention the second decade of the 21st century. That's right, it's time to have high expectations, to plan and dream, and most importantly, to hope and wish upon the upcoming first sunrise of 2020. <목소리> 네, 곧 새해를 맞이하게 될 텐데요. 그래서 많은 분들이 해맞이를 또 계획하고 계실 것 같습니다. 멀리 해도지 여행 떠나기 힘든 서울 시민들은요. 도심 속산 일곱 곳, 그러니까 안산, 응봉산, 배봉산, 개운산, 용왕산, 삼성산, 그리고 남산. 또한 서울 외곽을 둘러싼 산 10곳, 그리고 시내 공원 4곳, 이렇게 가까운 곳에서도 해맞이 행사를 즐길 수 있겠습니다. But we still have a day and a half to go until we welcome in 2020. But I'm already hoping all the best for the new year for our listeners. And with that in mind, I have today's first quiz question. Witnessing the first sunrise of the year is a grand tradition here in Korea. But before that, we need to do this. It is the something of the last seconds of 2019. Ilbon, a countdown of the last seconds of 2019. Ibon, touchdown of the last seconds of 2019. 오늘도 청취자 여러분의 많은 참여 기다리고 있습니다. 아울러서 여러분의 해맞이 계획도 알려주시면 좋을 것 같네요. 퀴즈 정답과 사연 보내주시고요. 정답 맞춰주신 분들 중에 추첨을 통해서 총 다섯 분께 뉴욕타임즈 1개월 구독권 보내드리겠습니다. 여러분의 소식과 소감 그리고 방송 중 궁금한 질문 있으시면 보내주세요. 짧은 문자 50원 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045고요. 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스는 무료로 이용 가능합니다. Okay, then let's kick off today's show with today's global headlines. 세계 각국 언론사들의 어떤 헤드라인이 올라왔는지 살펴보는 시간입니다. Touch Global Headlines. Global markets saw all-time highs and rose to record peaks on Friday. 올해 세계 주요국 주식 시장이 대부분 작년에 부진을 싣고 반등에 성공했습니다. At least 90 people have been killed after a massive car bomb exploded at a busy intersection in Somalia's capital Mogadishu. 소말리아 수도 모가디슈에서 출근길 차량을 이용한 자살 폭탄 테러가 발생해 100명에 육박하는 사망자가 발생했습니다. Southeast Asian nations are voicing their opposition to Beijing's claims that the South China Sea belongs to China. 동남아 국가들이 남중국해는 중국 바다가 아니라며 목소리를 높이고 있습니다. Authorities in Kazakhstan are considering all factors, including technical failure, pilot error, and weather conditions as possible causes of a plane crash that resulted in about 70 casualties. 70여 명의 사상자를 낸 카자흐스탄의 여객기 추락 사고와 관련해 모든 가능성을 검토하고 있다고 카자흐스탄 당국이 밝혔습니다. Sir Elton John has been awarded the Companion of Honor, the highest acknowledgement by the British Crown. 가수 엘튼 존이 영국 왕실의 서훈 체계 중 가장 영예로운 어, 영예로운 자리로 꼽히는 명예 훈작을 받게 됐습니다. And for the headlines and more, I'm joined by Steve. Good morning. Good morning to you. Monday morning, the last Monday of 2019. I know. New Year's Eve Eve today. New Year's Eve Eve. Just last week we were saying Christmas Eve <laughs> mm. Eve, and now we've moved on to another big event. Are you excited about it? Yeah, I am for some reason. I don't know why. but <laughs> are, are you typically not at this time of year? I mean, well, 
There's no reason to be excited about another day of the week, I feel like.、Mm. But I'm, it's just for some reason, I just like new beginnings. Yeah, and right. And I feel like you know, January 1st is an opportunity to start afresh. Ah, I see. So you're just excited about the new year, not、yeah. the fact that it's 2020 and it's the start、mm. of a new decade. No, no. Well, any new year for me is exciting. Yeah, right. I talk about this a lot, but looking back at previous dates and how far away they are now. Hmm. 2000, the year 2000s, 20 years ago, two,、mm. two decades I know, ago. It's unbelievable. Oh, goodness <laughs> me. You were talking a lot about mountains in the yeah, opening of the show today. Exactly. So, if you're unable to go over to the East Coast, where people typically go for the first sunrise of the new year,、mm-hmm. and you live in Seoul,、yeah. there are plenty of places and mountains in the capital city where you can also go and witness the first sunrise of the year. Do people go to Pukan a lot as well? I guess so. So, well, I have a list of mountains here. I only mentioned seven, but、mm. I have like way more than that. I think I have a total of twenty something here.、Um, Kehwasan, Bongsan, Bukhansan, as you mentioned,、uh, Dobongsan, Suraksan, Yongmasan, Achasan, Iljasan, Umyeonsan, Mebongsan. What about Iljasan? <laughs> <laughs> ah, very funny. Badumch. <laughs> Although the Chinese character for Ilsan is actually one mountain. Oh yeah, yeah,、oh, yeah. Interesting enough,、mm. but it, it, yeah, as you said there. And our listeners, Hasa Sam Gong Nim says, 행사들이너무많아서참산만하네요라고보내주셨습니다 <laughs> Happy New Year, Sujin and Steve. Thank, 하셨고요 Thank you very much. Happy New Year to you. Yeah, it's,、네. it's a busy time of year for people, isn't it? It is. Really is. Yeah, yeah. with the year wrapping up and year end parties、mm. and year end gatherings. Yeah, there's. A lot、yeah. to do, isn't、yeah. there? Yeah. And you know we're dressed in red and blue. Lee Jung Gak Nim says, "Yeomal Chong Tim Hong Tim Chujang Bok Jang Gat Tae." You look like the captains <laughs> of the red team and the blue team. <laughs> the home team and, <laughs> and the away team. I suppose I would be the away team in that scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, it's like it's too much. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, right. Ah, 여러분의사연계속해서많이보내주시고요너무반갑습니다정말이틀밖에안남았네요이제2020년이아직은이제입에딱붙지는않는데다가오고있습니다 It's time to start thinking about、yeah. resolutions. I know what you want to do for 2020. To be frank, even 2019 still feels feels a little awkward to say. It feels new. Yeah, but we're at the end of it. <laughs> <Yeah> . <laughs> I'm like 2019. Yeah, well, if you, if you feel uncomfortable with 2019, don't worry because you only have to say it for two, two more, more days, days, and then we're、uh, then we're on to a new one. 2020, 2020 kind、mm. of rolls off the tongue,、mm. doesn't it? Oh, that's a good、Mateo. expression. 2020. Any rolls off the tongue. We'll talk about that in about fifty minutes or so. 좋아요저오,오늘의표현일까요 <웃음> 계속해서여러분의사연도보내주시고요또연말또연시어떻게보내실지계획도함께공유해주시면좋겠습니다퀴즈정답도계속보내주세요총다섯분께추첨을통해서뉴욕타임즈일개월구독권보내드리겠습니다자그러면 headlines 살펴볼게요 Headline number one this morning: Global markets saw all-time highs and rose to record peaks on Friday. 올해세계주요국주식시장이대부분작년에부진을싣고반등에성공했습니다 So world markets set records on Friday with global growth prospects increased or raised by exciting Chinese economic data and optimism of a U.S.-China trade deal that is imminent.、Uh, Wall Street also set all-time highs early, and European shares to,、uh, rose to a third day of record peaks、uh, as various U.S. and European indexes remained set to post their best year.、Mm. This is Exciting! Their best year since the global financial crisis a decade ago. Wow, 그렇습니다매해이맘때쯤이되면은이제세계증시시가총액을평가하게되면서일년전에비해서올랐나내렸나이렇게보게되는데작년이맘때쯤에는좀줄어들었습니다그렇지만올해지금은작년대비 24.4% 가오른모습이에요 There could be some possible reasons for that. Yeah,、right? there could be.、Uh... Uh, but the exciting news is that the world markets are now doing 
quite well, at least for a period of time. Uh, profits at Chinese industrial firms grew at the fastest pace in eight months in November. They rose 5.4% from mm. a year earlier. Uh, the gains had snapped three months of decline there. Uh, but this U.S.-China trade war that had been going on has really hurt international markets and international commerce. Trade between the two uh, world's largest economies fell 15.2% in the 12 months through November from the same period in 2018. But news of this phase one and possibly phase two, phase three deals yeah. uh, seem to be having a positive effect on the markets now. 네, 그렇습니다. 이렇게 세계 주식 시장이 날개를 띠는 그런 모습을 보이고 있는데요. 주요 요인으로는 크게 뭐세 가지 정도로 볼수 있을 것 같아요. 통화 정책이 좀 완화가 된 모습이었고요. 2019년에 그 다음에 미중 미중 무역 전쟁 얘기도 우리가 많이 나눴었는데 그 불확실성이 조금 완화된 모습 최근에 더욱 더 그랬죠. 영국의 브렉시트 역시 마찬가지로 굉장히 불확실한 상태로 연초에 한 해를 시작했지만 이제는 조금 뭔가가 가닥이 잡히는 것 같은 모습입니다. 이런 것들이 이제 주요 요인이 돼서 어, 증시 시가총액이 좀 오르지 않았나 이렇게 전문가들은 보고 있는 것 같아요. And if you're wondering how stocks did here in Korea, uh, very well, as a matter of fact, stocks in the country closed higher Friday. Investor sentiment was uh, buoyed after the U.S. stock market set another record high uh, on the progress in the trade deal again between Washington and Beijing. And also the won rose against the U.S. dollar as well. The Kospi rose 6.28 points or 0.29%. So a good day here in Korea for stocks yeah. as well. Indeed. And the overall value of uh, stocks, if you look at the uh, Korea stocks in terms of how it ranked in the whole in the whole world, mm -hmm. it uh, ranked 12th, which is incredible, really. Pretty good. 네, 시가총액 순위로 봤을 때도요, 우리나라가 올해 이제 12위를 기록했습니다. Let's go on to our second headline, Not So Rosy. Not at all, as a matter of fact. At least 90 people have been killed after a massive car bomb exploded at a busy intersection in Somalia's capital, Mogadishu. Somalia 수도 모가디슈에서 출근길 차량을 이용한 자살 폭탄 테러가 발생해 100명에 육박하는 사망자가 발생했습니다. So the attack happened during rush hour in the Somali capital at about 8 a.m. local time and civilians and soldiers are among the dead according to police. Uh, also government spokesman Ismail Mukhtar told CNN that the attacker drove his vehicle into the X-Control Afgoye if I'm saying that correctly. That's a checkpoint mm. and it's a well-known junction that links the south of Somalia to the capital. And uh, Mr. Mukhtar added that the uni that university students were among the dead as well. Uh, police do conduct security searches at that checkpoint, but there's also a taxation office located nearby, and also the area is hev heavily populated with civilians and security forces. 네, 그렇습니다. 소말리아에서 출근 시간대에 자살 테러가 일어났습니다. 이게 사람들이 굉장히 많이 다니는 사거리에서 발생을 했어요. 차량을 이용한, 이용한 자살 테러였고요. 그러다 보니까 많은 부상자들과 사망자가 발생했는데 100명 가까이 사망했고 또 120명 이상 부상했다라는 소식이 외신을 통해서 지금 전해지고 있습니다. 이 숫자는 올라갈 수도 있다 이렇게 외신이 또 얘기를 하고 있어요. 현지 시간 28일 있었던 자살 테러입니다. Um, AP says this is the worst since 2017. Yeah, that's right. And this also comes just two weeks after at least five people were killed in a seven hour battle at a hotel popular with lawmakers and security fish officials in Mogadishu. That's where that happened as well. Also back in February, the group Al-Shabaab claimed responsibility for a car bombing at a crowded shopping mall that left at least 10 dead. And it was also behind three car bombings. The group was behind three car bombings last November that killed at least 52 people with about 100 more injured. 네, 지금 스티브 선생님이 얘기한 Al-Shabaab은요. 알카이다와 연계된 그룹입니다. 아직 배후 또는 주체가 밝혀지지는 않았지만 지금 소말리아에서는 알샤바브의 소행이었을 것이다 이렇게 강하게 의심이 된다고 하고 있고요. 실제로 소말리아 대통령도 알샤바브를 규탄한 상태입니다. 
There was a response from the UN as well. If you're curious to know, UN Chief Antonio Guterres, he condemned what he called, quote, this horrendous crime, according to a statement issued by his spokesman. And he also extended his deepest sympathies to the victims and wished a speedy recovery to those involved in the blast. A quote again, he said, the Secretary General reiterates the full commitment of the United Nations to support the people and government of Somalia in their pursuit, uh, pursuit of peace and development. But those those numbers, those death uh, toll numbers, police have warned that they could continue to, to rise because a lot of the wounded have been rushed to hospitals, mm. but we'll have to wait and see about their recovery. All right. Well, moving on from the terrorist story in Somalia to territorial disputes in Asia. Southeast Asian nations are voicing their opposition to Beijing's claims that the South China Sea belongs to China. 네, 동남아 국가들이 남중국해는 중국 바다가 아니라며 목소리를 높이고 있습니다. So Southeast Asian countries with claims to the South China Sea are upping the ante, so to speak, and maybe trying to coordinate their efforts as this deadline approaches for a code of conduct that is according to observers. And in their latest move, Malaysia took a stronger stand when Foreign Minister Sefuddin Abdullah called China's nine-dash line claim over most of the contested waterway ridiculous. He said for China to claim that the whole of South China Sea belongs to China, I think that is ridiculous. And defending Malaysia's new submission to the United Nations earlier this month, he continued to say, it is a claim that we have made and we will defend our claim. But of course, having said that, anyone can challenge and dispute and that is not unusual. Many of the Southeast Asian countries and China claim uh, that this area, uh, this, uh, this sea, belongs to them and that is because it is actually very rich in natural resources. 남중국해 같은 경우에는요. 석유와 가스 등 이제 굉장히 풍부한 천연 자원을 가지고 있는 그런 곳입니다. 또 해상 물동량도 상당하기 때문에 중국뿐만 아니라 이렇게 주변 동남아 국가들이 어, 영유권을 주장하고 있어요. But there's something called the Nine Dash Line that China drew up in the 19, I think it was 40s and 50s, mm -hmm. and, and they base that on their territorial claims. Yes, exactly. And China claims almost all of the South mm. China Sea. And this, uh, this is big uh, money because about 5 trillion US dollars worth of goods are transported annually through that area. Yeah. And China has taken further, uh, further steps. They have built military outposts on artificial islands there. And again, it's despite overlapping claims by Brunei and Malaysia, as we just heard, also the Philippines and Taiwan and Vietnam as well. It is a heavily disputed area. 그렇습니다. Nine Dash Line, 우리말로는 이제 구단선이라고 하는데요. 중국이 1940년대 그리고 50년대에 아홉 개의 선으로 그은 유자형의 선입니다. 이 남중국해의 어떤 그 영유권을 주장하면서 그은 선인데 이것을 근거로 이 수역의 한 90%는 중국 영유권이다. 중국의 해상이다. 이렇게 주장을 하고 있습니다. 그것에 대해서 동남아 국가들은 말도 안 된다라고 하면서 말레이시아 같은 경우에는 유엔에다가 말레이시아의 영유권 주장 제안서를 제출했고요. 베트남은 국방백서를 최근에 한 10년 만에 발간했습니다. 그러면서 중국을 또 강력 비난하기도 했습니다. Yeah, and with the claims from the other countries, you'll hear some repeated language as well. The Malaysian claim to the UN Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf, uh, they uh, say that they are having their rights infringed upon. Uh, Vietnam, they released something as well. It's first since 2009, where Hanoi is uh, voicing their concerns over new developments, saying that there's an infringement upon Vietnam's sovereignty, sovereign rights, and jurisdiction as provided in international law. So all of these countries seem to be making similar claims to, to the other ones. All right. Well, let's leave that story there and move slightly westward to Kazakhstan. Uh, authorities in Kazakhstan are considering all factors, including technical failure, pilot error, and weather conditions as possible causes of a plane crash that resulted in about 70 casualties. 70여 명의 사상자를 낸 카자흐스탄 여객기 추락 사고와 관련해 모든 가능성을 검토하고 있다고 카자흐스탄 당국이 밝혔습니다. So 
12 people were killed and more than 50 people injured, officials in Kazakhstan said on Saturday when a Bek Air jet crashed Friday morning, uh, just minutes after departing from the airport of Almaty. That's Kazakhstan's largest city, and it's also its former capital. Uh, the plane had 98 people on board, and apparently it struggled to get off the ground. So when it was mm. trying to take off, the tail of the plane actually struck the runway twice uh, during its takeoff. Uh, anyway, in the aftermath of the tragedy, residents of the area are continuing to bring flowers and candles to a makeshift memorial near the airport entrance, and also 49 people uh, injured in the crash were still hospitalized as well. 네, 최근에 있었던 카자흐스탄 여객기 추락 사고로 인해서 어, 12명이 사망한 것으로 외신은 전하고 있습니다. 그리고 최소 60명이 부상을 당했다. 그래서 이제 총 사상자가 한 70여 명 되는 것으로 이렇게 집계가 되고 있는데요. 지금 현재 그 원인에 대한 조사가 진행 중입니다. 모든 가능성을 다 열어두고 있다. 이렇게 카자흐스탄 당국은 밝히고 있고요. 기장의 조종 실수인지, 기체 고장 때문이었는지, 또는 이제 악천후 때문인지, 많은, 어, 가능성을 지금 검토 중이라고 해요. Yeah, the Interior Ministry from Kazakhstan, they said that the investigation was underway, then the police are analyzing documents and audio and video recordings related to the crash, uh, questioning officials and passengers and also inspecting the airport's uh, infrastructure. And uh, the Ministry of Industry also said that the plane's flight recorders will be passed on to the Interstate Aviation Committee in Moscow. They are going to examine that and analyze that and mm. hopefully come up with some answers. All right. Well, let's go on to our final headline over in the UK. Exciting news for Elton John and mm -hmm. fans of Elton John. Sure. Sir Elton John has been awarded the Companion of Honor, the highest acknowledgement by the British Crown. 네, 가수 엘튼 존이 영국 왕실의 서운 체계 중 가장 영예로운 자리로 꼽히는 명예 훈작을 받게 됐습니다. He's so impressive, isn't he? Yes. He was awarded this honor for his remarkable career that's gone on more than five decades. You know, we said it, we're impressed that 20 years has passed yeah. since the year 2000. He's been making music for 50 years mm. now. He's sold more than 300 million records worldwide, and he's promoted the work of 23 charities, including his own uh, AIDS Foundation. And he becomes now one of only 64 people apart from the the monarch who yeah. can actually hold this honor at any one time. 네, 그렇습니다. Elton John, 영어로는 이제 Sir Elton John이라고 해야 될것 같은데요. 어, 무슨 물론 기사 자기를 받은 지는 굉장히 오래됐습니다만 이번에는 또 다른 굉장히 명예로운 타이틀을 얻게 됐어요. 그게 바로 영어로는 Companion of Honor. 우리말로는 명예 훈작이 되겠습니다. 지금까지 50년간 음악 활동을 해왔고요. 23개의 자선 단체에서도 활발하게 활동 중입니다. Pretty impressive, right? This Companion of Honor, by the way, it goes back to 1917. That's when it was founded by King George V, and it was a reward for outstanding achievements, and it was only given out to a limited number of people. But now the award as described is described as... Uh, given to people for having a major contribution to the arts, science, medicine, and government lasting over a long period of time. And if you're wondering some other people yeah. who hold this award right now, Sir David Attenborough, we know that name, right? Sure. Uh, Dame Judi Dench, the mm. famous actress. J.K. Rowling Harry is on that. That's yeah. right. So, uh, Ian, Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking's on there. Ian yeah. McCallan mm. is on there. And Actor, Paul, yeah. Paul McCartney, too. Wow, 그렇군요. 명예 훈작 수여자 몇 분의 아, 이름을 지금 스티브 선생님이 읽어주셨는데 총 이제 여왕까지 포함해서 65명, 그러니까 여왕을 제외하면 은 64명에게만 서운되는 굉장히 명예로운 그런 어, 타이틀이 되겠습니다. 예술, 과학, 의학, 정부 분야에서 공로가 큰 인사에게 서운됩니다. Those are the headlines for this morning. Let's remind our listeners of the quiz. Witnessing the first sunrise of the year is a grand tradition, but before that we need to do a blank of the last seconds of 2019. Mm. Do you count down the seconds or do you Touchdown the seconds. Number one countdown or number two touchdown. 네, 추첨을 통해서 총 다섯 분께 뉴욕 타임스 일 개월 구독권 보내드리겠습니다. 계속해서 정답 보내주세요. 
Elton John, Sir Elton John, and also Companion of Honor, Elton John. Mm. 노래를 듣고 오도록 하겠습니다. Sorry seems to be the hardest word. <laughs> Elton John, I know it. Go, I s m i d a We are listening to Morning Special, and it's the last Monday of the year, December 30th. Kim h a n e l i m o 올해는 옥상 위에서 새해 일출을 봤었는데 2020년에는 산에 가서 보고 싶어요. 일찍 일어나야겠죠? 하셨습니다. I welcomed in the new year 2019 on the top of my building, but for 2020, I'd like to go to the mountains. Oh, nice. Yeah, which mountain? We gave you about 200 to choose from in the opening of the show today. 어느 산에 가시렵니까? 김하늘님. 네, 일찍 일어나야겠죠. You have to be really diligent, wake up early to, to catch the first sunrise. Well, the sun doesn't come up too early these days, right? But if you want to go to a certain region, uh, then you have to... Get up early to drive there. But, oh yes, if oh that's true. If yeah. you're not, I was thinking you just kind of wake up and look out the window, mm. but that's not the case, is it? 네, mm. 맞습니다. 윤은진님이요 새해 결심이 작심 삼일이 되지 않도록 올해부터는 새해 기분으로 시작해 해야겠습니다. 두 분도 새해 복 많이 받으세요라고 하셨어요. So there's this expression called 작심 삼일, and it means you make up your mind. And to do something, mm. and then it lasts for just three days. c h a k s h i m s a m i l Oh, so like a New Year's resolution. Yeah, it's really hard to keep. You think <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna have yeah. a healthy diet, and then three days in, yep. you're like, oh, so difficult. You get that gym membership <laughs> on January 1 s t and you go, what's January 1 s t Wednesday? So that would be you go Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. and then you retire from yeah. the gym. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So our listener says, I hope that in 2020 I don't do that because I did that. This year, everyone What? does that. I know everyone does that. Why? It. Why? Why do we do that? <laughs> We're gonna go. Because it's <laughs> everybody. It's it's u n j i n n i m It's you. It's me. It's yeah. Mm. It's me. It's everybody. 맞아. We make these big plans and then we never follow through with them. 네. And then we do it again the next year. We say, <laughs> nope, this year I'm really gonna do it. And then we don't. <laughs> 네, 그렇습니다. 작심삼일 해도 괜찮아요. 그래도 yeah. 이제 조금 더 마음을 가다듬고 새해에는 조금 더 길게 뭔가 해보자 라는 마음 저도 가져보도록 하겠습니다. Mm. 아, 한 경자님, 2020년 경자는, 경자년은 저의 해라고 해도 과언이 아닙니다. 왜냐하면 제가 1972년 쥐띠이자 이름도 경자거든요. 2020년 경자년 쥐띠에게는 제게도 대박 행운이 찾아오길 바라봅니다. You know, every year has its own Chinese characters and the name of the year. Oh, yes. Yeah. So what's coming up for 2020? It's k y o n g j a n y o n What's But that? Uh, um, well, I don't know what k y o n g means exactly, but, <laughs> okay. but Paul, it's the Paul, year of the mouse. Help? It's okay. the year of the rat, uh -huh. right? And this listener, her name is k y o n g j a oh. and she was born in the year of the rat. Oh. So she's like, this is going to be my year. Yeah, buy a lottery ticket every day. Ah, 복권 사시래요. 매일 복권 사시랍니다. 시험생님이 매일 그럼 당첨되실 거다. And then you can retire in 2021. <웃음> 아, 2020년에는 은퇴를. 아이고. <웃음> 뭐 꿈꾸는 거는 뭐 어떻게 막을 수 없으니까요. 근데 정말 어 너무 우, 많은 우연의 일치네요. 한경자님, 2020년에 정말 대박이 나실 것 같아요. 저도 느낌이 팍팍 옵니다. It's going to be a good one. 네, 그렇습니다. What is it again? The year of the mouse? The year of the rat. The year yeah. of the rat. Yes. Oh, nice. And it's called 경자년. So, yeah, I'm just hoping that everything turns out great for everyone, and especially our listener here. 한경자님, 또 대박이 나시면 또 별 모닝 스페셜과 함께 해주실 거죠? 알려주세요. 음. 어떻게 좋은 일들이 일어나는지. 아, 최봉님 님이 사진 보내주셨습니다. 짜잔! 지난 토요일 청주에서 모닝 스페셜 애청자 정기 모임 했어요. 와, wow, cool. that is so cool. 2003년부터 시작한 저의 모닝지기 활동에서도 처음이었던 그런 행사였습니다. 왼쪽부터 소개를 하자면 소녀 감성 김수연님. 네, 제가 잘 아, 지난번에 청취자 분들이 우리 오픈 스튜디오 했을 때 오셨었는데요. That's pretty cool. 저, 저도 잘 기억하고 있습니다. Yeah, I love it when I hear those stories of morning special listeners 네. just getting together and 맞아요. having a coffee or a tea. 맞아요. Yeah. Let me just continue reading this message here. Mm -hmm. 아, 매력녀 이경수님. 다재다능 조주희님, 멋쟁이 신사 최윤식님, 그리고 저, 막내 최봉님. <웃음> 자랑하고자 단체 사진 올립니다. And he's also a great fan of yours, isn't he? Well, 봉님님 yeah. is, is our listener who went to uh, LA for the business trip. 
Oh, that's all. Oh, to, that's it. To was. have the uh, to have the cheeseburger at that cafe oh, yeah. that I recommended. Right? The moment you mentioned it, I think he put it up there on his list <laughs> and he went there. Yeah. 다음에는 우리 수진 쌤, Steve 쌤도 다른 애청자 분들도 함께 해요. 봉림님 says. Next time, if we could join them, that would be great. Yeah, it would be great. It would be. Where, where was it? Jeongju? Jeongju에서 모임하셨어요. Oh, that's kind of far. 네, 그렇습니다. 다음에, <웃음> 어, 저도 같이 하고 이쪽으, 싶습니다. 이쪽으로 오세요. 일산, 서울로? <웃음> 예. 다음에는 음, 같이 뵈면 저도 너무 좋을 것 같네요. 음. 사진 보내주셔서 너무 감사합니다. 그리고 너무 반갑습니다. 지난번에 그뭐 오픈 스튜디오, 오픈 스튜디오 언제 있었어요? 그때가 언제였죠? 7월이었네요? 8월이었나요? 7월? 아, 갑자기 생각이 안 나네요. <웃음> Time for another one, I think. Maybe. Mm-hmm. 오픈 스튜디오를 한번더 하는 게 오히려 더 빠를 수도 있을 것 같아요. For the new year, that would be great, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. 어, 새해에 우리 푸디님 오픈 스튜디오 한번 하시죠. <웃음> 네. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, it was the Monday after I visited for the um, for the seven. Was it the seven thousandth show? That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. And Greg came to that open studio. Yeah, right. 맞아요. Yeah. Oh, I 기억이 다시 납니다. Mm-hmm. 네, 계속해서 사연 많이 보내주시고 정말 2020년에는 저희 다 같이 또뵐수 있는 기회가 왔으면 좋겠습니다. 퀴즈 정답 보내주신 분들 중에는 또 다섯 분께 일 개월 구독권, 뉴욕 타임스 구독권 보내드리겠습니다. 와, 시간이 많이 흘렀어요. 네, 뉴스포커스 첫 번째. We really should. 얼른 봐야겠습니다. <웃음> 아, 올해 올 한해 미국에서 한 번에 네명 이상이 희생되는 대량 살상 사건이 모두 어, 41차례나 일어났다는 통계를 집계한 이래 역대 최다 기록했는데요. Let's listen to the story. <웃음> A database compiled by the Associated Press, USA Today, and Northeastern University shows that there were more mass killings in the United States in 2019 than in any other year dating to at least the 1970s, punctuated by deadly rampages during the summer. In all, there were 41 mass killings, defined as when four or more people are killed, excluding the perpetrator. Of those, 33 were mass shootings, more than 210 people were killed. Most of the killings involved people who knew each other, family disputes, drug or gang violence, or people with beefs who directed their anger at co-workers or relatives. 네, 한 번에 네명 이상 희생되는 그런 대량 살상 사건이 통계가 집계된 이래 역대 최다 어41 그러니까 41 차례나 일어났다고 합니다. Oh my goodness. Let's look at one expression from this article. People with beefs yeah, so with the, if you have a beef with someone, it means you have a problem with someone mm. or you have some trouble with another person. We often hear this term used in the music industry, okay. as a matter of fact. One rapper may have beef with another rapper, mm. and that does not mean that two rappers go to a gogi jib. So no, it's not that's... that kind of beef. Mm. It's when you have a problem, you're fighting between each other. Mm. Do you remember mm. the time when Kanye West and Taylor Swift... They yes. weren't really getting along. Yeah. So you could say they had beef. Ah. It's a strange expression, isn't it? It is. Yeah. 네. 소고기를 뜻하는 단어와 스펠링은 똑같습니다. B E E F. 그런데 의미는 불평 불만이라는 뜻이에요. 그래서 I have 아니면 they had, you know, beefs or beef 이런 거 얘기하면은 어떤 불만. Now, again, this is a term that you will hear used in the media a lot, uh, but we don't usually use this to a person that we have beef with, okay. if that makes sense. Yeah. So if I had a problem with you, Sue, uh. I wouldn't say, I have beef with you, Sue. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you could, but I would get that reaction. You would laugh, <laughs> right? Because uh-huh. it's because cause it's kind of an odd thing to say. So you'll hear it more commonly used in the media, and again, mm. it's typically specifically mm. to the music industry. Mm. Although you can use it outside, as in the context of this article too. Oh, 그래요. 사전에는 나와 있지 않는 그런 그 용법에 대해서 지금 스티브 선생님이 설명을 해주셨는데 실생활에서 대놓고 말할 때 쓴다기보다는 묘사할 때 많이 쓰고. 또 실제로 어, 아무 상황에서 쓴다기보다는 뉴스에서 보면은 가수들 간에 어떤 불만과 불평거리가 있었다라고 할때더 많이 쓴다고 합니다. You know what's really confusing? Mm. When two rappers who aren't getting along go out for gogi together. 
Then it's really, there's a lot of beef happening <laughs> two, there. Two artists who have beef with each other. Are having beef. beef. <laughs> with 아, each other. 그래요. 어, <웃음> 서로 이렇게 불만인 가수 두 명이 소고기를 같이 먹으러 갔다. 라고 하면은, <웃음> 어떻게 쓰면 될까요? 자, 그렇게 beef라는 표현, 좀 특이한 용법 살펴봤습니다. 자, 그러면 바로 우리 두 번째 뉴스 포커스로 넘어가 보도록 할게요. Let's not do the reread and go right to the second news focus story. 흡연에 대한 강력한 규제로 잘 알려진 싱가포르에서 내년부터는 담배꽁초가 화재 발생의 원인으로 지목될 경우 처벌 수위가 더 높아져 최대 징역 7년 또는 벌금형에 처해진다고 하네요. Let's listen to the story. Anyone who does not properly dispose of lighted materials such as cigarette butts, incense and embers and causes a fire will be taken to task from January 1st next year under a new law in Singapore. This will apply if the fire occurs within 60 minutes at or in the vicinity of the place where the person threw, placed, dropped or deposited anything likely to cause fire unless the contrary is proven. Under the criminal law reform act, such a person will be presumed to have caused or substantially contributed to the risk of a dangerous fire. Those found liable under this new offense can be punished with up to seven years jail and or fined. Don't smoke in Singapore. Yeah, Singapore is already known for its very strict laws. Mm -hmm. Gum is illegal. Is it illegal? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and this is a strict law, too. But this one is in place for a good reason, as, as are all laws, you could argue. Uh, but yeah, from January 1st next year, under this new law, if you uh, are found to be guilty of this, you could go to jail for a very long time or face a hefty, hefty fine. Yes. And to be clear, it doesn't mean you can't smoke at all, but mm -hmm. it's where you throw away your cigarette butts. Yes, exactly. So if you do, then you will be taken to task from the first day of the new year. Mm. So taken to task means that you get in trouble verbally mm -hmm. uh, for doing something wrong. So I'll give you an easy example. If you are a student and you go to class and you do not do your homework, mm -hmm. what is your teacher going to say to you? Um, you do can't, your homework? Yeah, do your homework. <laughs> you have to be a better student than yeah. this. Mm. Da, ba, 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 ba. Mm. Your, your teacher is taking you to task. It's when they're telling you verbally about something that you did wrong. You should know better. Exactly. Mm. You of all people should know better. You're 네. a student. You're the top student <laughs> in this class. 그래요. 꾸짖다. 아, 라는 뜻에 어떻게 보면 이제 학생에게는 혼내다라는 뜻으로 해석을 할수 있을 텐데 여기서는 음, 뭐 책망하다, 어떤 책임을 물다라는 의미로 볼수 있겠습니다. Take to task, 수동태로 쓰여서 be taken to task, 내년 1월 1일부터 그러니까 3일 뒤부터 싱가포르에서 담배 꽁초를 이제 버렸는데 그로 인한 화재가 날 경우에는요. 징역 7년 아니면 벌금형에 처해진다. 책임을 지게 된다. 이런 의미입니다. Another example very quickly of taken to task would be if you are a husband or a wife and mm -hmm. you come home very late from your year-end party mm. and your partner is upset with you uh -huh. and they say, how can you come home this late? You said you were going to come home three hours before. The next day you can say, oh, last night I came home too late and my partner took me to task. Uh. 어제 내가 너무 늦게 귀가를 했더니 내 남편이 아니면 아내가 나를 많이 책망했어. Such and such took me to task. Exactly. 이렇게 얘기를 할수 있군요. 네, 좋습니다. 이렇게 해서 뉴스 포커스 첫 번째와 두 번째를 살펴봤습니다. 우리 퀴즈 한번더 우리 청취자분들에게 알려드릴까요? Quiz question this morning. Witnessing the first sunrise of the year is a grand tradition. But before that, we need to do a blank of the last seconds of 2019. So, is it number one to do a countdown or number two to do a touchdown? 네, 오, 사, 3, 
이, 일, 이런 거를 일거라고 부르죠. 터치다운! 터치다운일까요? 카운다운일까요 그러시면 되겠습니다. 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045고요. 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스 무료로 이용 가능합니다. 추첨을 통해서 총 다섯 분께 뉴욕타임스 1개월 구독권 보내드릴게요. We're going to listen to another song now. 노래 듣고 다음 뉴스 포커스 살펴보겠습니다. The Script가 부릅니다. The Man Who Can't Be Moved. 자, 세 번째 뉴스 포커스 살펴보도록 하겠습니다. 미국의 여성 우주인 크리스티나 코우가 지난 28일부로 우주에서 289일을 체류해 단일 비행으로는 최장 기간 우주에 체류한 여성이라는 기록을 세웠다고 NASA 미 항공 우주국이 밝혔습니다. Let's listen to the story. A NASA astronaut has set a new record for time spent in space, and she still has six weeks to go before she returns to Earth. Christina Koch has surpassed the record for the single longest space mission by a woman as previously established by NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson in 2017. The 40-year-old Expedition 61 flight engineer exceeded Whitson's record of 289 days, 5 hours and 1 minute. If her return to Earth remains as scheduled, Koch will have logged 328 days in space, just 12 days shy of the longest single space flight by a NASA astronaut, 340 days, set by Scott Kelly during his year-long mission from 2015 to 2016. 289 days in space and counting. Yeah, unbelievable, yeah, huh? Yeah, this is the lady on our point in radio. We have her picture up right now. So impressive mm. that anyone can stay up there for yeah. that amount of time. Yeah. And it's exciting. You know, if she comes back, like the article says, mm. if she comes back on time, mm -hmm. she'll be just 12 days short of or shy of the longest single space flight by a NASA astronaut. Wow. I would say... If it's safe, stay right? Stay longer. Stay there. Yeah. Stay there for 12 more days. <laughs> exactly. It's you just two weeks. Sure, we might have to rearrange some <laughs> shuttle landing schedules and things of that Break nature. Break the record. Let's go for it. Why not? You're right there, right? 맞아요. 지금 예정돼 있는 게 앞으로도 한 6주 더 있다가 어, 그리고 다시 지구로 내려올 예정인데요. 그렇게 되면은 just shy of 12 days shy of 라는 표현이 나왔습니다. 이건 살짝 모자르다 이런 뜻인데 남녀 통틀어서 가장 오랫동안 이렇게 우주에 있었던 게 340일이었대요. 근데 이제 지금 예정된 게 그것보다는 한 12일 모자르게 계획이 돼 있다고 하는데 스티브 선생님이 그냥 2주 더 있다 오세요. 기록 깨고 오세요. 라고 얘기를 yeah, 하는 거예요. Just hang out up there for a couple 일, of weeks. 1년 가까이 지금 있었는데 한 read, 2주 더 있어요. Read some Dostoyevsky. That should take about two weeks. No, yeah. that should take about two years actually. Uh, shy of is a really, really um, good expression to learn because we can use this quite commonly mm. in some different places. You'll hear it in sports news. Uh, the record was 50 goals per for one season, mm -hmm. but player A scored 48 goals, just shy of the record, or two goals shy of the record. Mm. So again, shy of means short of. We can use it about time. Mm -hmm. If you say, I'll be there just shy of five o'clock, <laughs> that means I'll be there around 4.45, 4.50, 4.52. The time, it doesn't really matter because mm. it means just before 5 o'clock. Uh -huh. Or, one more example, if I'm going to pay the bill at the restaurant mm. with Sue, and I say, uh, uh, Sue, the bill is 3만원, mm. but I have 2만 5천원, <laughs> can I borrow some money? I'm a little shy. Ah. Now, shy in that context does 음. not mean 부끄럽다. 아, 그렇죠. It means I'm a little short on money. <웃음> 네, 그렇습니다. 평소에 우리가 알고 있는 shy의 뜻, 수줍다, 부끄럽다 그 뜻이 아니고요. 무엇보다 조금 모자르다, 못 미친다 이런 뜻이에요. 그래서 시간, 돈, 이 경우에는 어떤 기간에 쓸수 있는 표현이 되겠습니다. 정말 그러네요. 예정돼 있는 그총 체류 기간이 남녀 통틀어서 세워진 가장 오랜 시간 340일보다 한 12일 모자르다고 하는데 10일 더 계시다가 혹시 어떨지 <웃음> 저도 개인적으로 그렇게 바라봅니다만 뭐 여러 가지 technical difficulties가 있을 수도 있겠죠. <웃음> yeah, right. And uh, here's one last example. Today is December 30th. We are just shy of what? 
New Year's Day. You could say that. We are just shy of New Year's Day. We are mm. just shy of 2020. We are mm. also just shy of New Year's Eve. Ah. Right? We're just before those things. We're just short of those things 그래요. now. Right? Shy of 뭐뭐뭐 뭐, 그러면은 음. 어, 살짝 못 미친다. 근데 우리 이제 새해가 이틀 남았잖아요. So we are just shy of New Year's Day That's or right. New Year's Eve. 좋습니다. 자, 뉴, 뉴스 포커스 그렇게 해서 세 가지 기사 총 다뤄봤고요. 아, 퀴즈 정답 발표할 시간이 벌써 됐습니다. Witnessing the first sunrise of the year is a grand tradition, but before that we need to do a blank of the last seconds of 2019. And the answer is number one, a countdown. 네, 그렇죠. 1번 countdown. A touchdown is a football term, yes, I think. Yes, for American football, mm. that's right. When yeah. they get the ball into the end zone, that is called a touchdown. 아, that's why before I said touchdown, 아 it's a celebratory <웃음> term, I guess. <웃음> 네, 자 1번 countdown 맞춰주신 전선희님, 이은표님, 정혜민님, 허웅님, 그리고 금은동님 축하드립니다. 뉴욕타임스 1개월 구독권 보내드릴게요. Steve, what is today's expression? What sound does rain make on a window? Pitter-patter. Ah, is that difficult to say? Mm, I don't know. I, Not really, no, right? No, no, yeah. Because the P, the two P sounds, pitter-patter. Pitter-patter, yeah. Yeah, that rolls off the tongue. Ah. Yeah, that's the expression, that's the expression. I used at the very <laughs> beginning of the program today. Right. So if something is in very, very, very good condition, mm. then we say it is in tip-top condition. Ooh. It rolls off the tongue. Mm. Now, I gave PP example, TT example. It doesn't yep. have to be that. Anything mm. that's easy to say, mm. and you, you have that feeling when you say it, oh, that's mm. easy to say. Mm. For example, actor, Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. That rolls off the tongue, mm. right? How about Stephen Hatherly? Doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, does it? Uh, it depends. No, not really, <laughs> but that's why they give actors names like that, oh, okay. because their names tend to roll off the tongue. Ah. Things that you can say easily, we say, oh, that just rolls off the tongue. 음, 혀 끝에서 굴러다닌다? 아, 이게 무슨 말이냐면요. 굉장히 발음하기 쉽다. 이런 뜻이에요. 근데 음. 그냥 어떤 단어에나 쓰는 건 아니고 여러 이제 단어들이 붙었을 때 아, 그거 굉장히 말하기 쉽네, 발음하기 쉽네 이런 뜻으로 it rolls off the tongue. So in the beginning of the show, we were saying, oh, 2019, 20, 2019. That doesn't really roll off the tongue, but... 음. 2020. 아, That 2020. rolls off the tongue. 그러네요. Yeah. 2019년보다는 영어로 이제 2020년이 조금 더 발음하기가 쉽다라고 하면서 이 표현을 써봤습니다. 2020 rolls off the tongue. Yeah. And so does Super Steve. <laughs> thank you, Steve, for that. <laughs> thank, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for having me this morning. Have a great 30th day of the month, and mm. I'll see you on New Year's Eve. Oh, wow. Yeah. See you then. Bye. All right. Well, coming up in the second hour of Morning Special, we have today, of course, Say What? and Books with Paul Matthews. Taking us there now is a song by George Benson. 2부로 넘어가는 노래는요. George Benson의 Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You입니다. 저는 2부에 돌아올게요.